On Monday, April the 13th, we cruise from Lim to Northwich on the Weaver Navigation. We left Lim around 7 o'clock in the morning and while Mandy cruised along the Lock Free Bridgewater Canal, Yvonne and I checked out the village of Grappen Hall with its cobbled stone street. While most of St. Wilfrid's Church was built in the 16th century, the Boydell Chapel inside it dates from the 12th century. Here are a few shots that we took on our morning cruise down to Preston Brook Tunnel. It's not that easy to make out, but that's a horse crossing the bridge. And if you look down the canal, you'll see that there's a boat coming. Ah, but Yvonne had no problem getting by it. Yvonne and Mandy stopped off at Claymore's gift shop to pick up some canal maps and canalia, while Pat and I took Kimberley Dawn down to the northern portal of Preston Brook Tunnel. It's one way traffic through the tunnel with the southbound traffic going on the half hour. We got there at noon so we had a half hour wait, which worked out well because the girls only just made it back in time. And there's a very weird picture in the thing of us going through the tunnel. And there's the boat in front. Can't see Evie's face. Where are you, Evie? Can you take one with this? Yeah, I will. Can't see your face. Oh, there you oh. are. Turn around. There you are. Okay, here we are. Near the exit of the Preston Brook Tunnel. It took us 26 minutes to get through the tunnel, but the boat in front of us right here, it was almost at a standstill as we went in. On entering the tunnel, we said goodbye to the Bridgewater Canal and started cruising the Trenton Mersey. Pat and I are quite familiar with this part of the Trenton Mersey. For a few years, Ursula was moored at Bartlington Wharf. While Mandy was on her daily power walk, we stopped off there to say hello to the owner, Margaret. Like Preston Brook, the Salford and Barton tunnels are one-way traffic. Signs confuse him because only Salford has a time restriction on it. Both tunnels are fairly short. Salford is only 424 yards long and Barton 572. But what makes them awkward is the bends inside them. There are no towpaths inside either tunnel and Mandy decided to walk over Salford. She was there before us and took this shot of us coming out. By four o'clock we reached one of the seven wonders of the waterways, the Anderdon Boat Lift. It carries boats from the Trenton Mersey down to the River Weaver. You have to book passage to go on the lift and because it was late in the day and also Easter Monday, we didn't think there was any chance that we would be able to get on. Much to our surprise, we got a booking for five o'clock. Now I've got a series of still photographs and videos that will show you what it's like to go down the Anderton boat lift. Here we are cruising on to the Anderton boat lift. Cruising into our hole. The lift has two counterbalance castles. Each one weighs 252 tons when filled with water. 
Because of displacement, the weight is the same whether or not there are boats in it. Dad's driving. The other boat's going in. Now they're lifting up the gate. I said it's all glassed in. Yeah. Oh, this is much better. So here we are going down the Anderton lift. There's the big wheels. These are mom and dad. Mom and Dad and Evie as we go down. Okay, we're now at the bottom of the Anderton boat lift, waiting for the water to equalize. Up there, now we're down here. and now we're down here. By 5:40, we were out on the River Weaver and heading towards Northridge. Here's a little bit of information about the lift. It was built in 1875 and was used for over a hundred years until it was closed because of corrosion in 1983. It was reopened to boat traffic in March of 2002. Pat and I were one of the first private boaters to go down on narrowboat Ursula. It was just a short cruise along the river to our overnight mooring at Northwich. I'm not sure what this sign really means, but I guess it's okay for us to moor here. Pat wasn't feeling too well tonight, so Yvonne and Mandy walked into town to have a look at some of the old buildings. They also brought home some Cornish pasties for dinner. <laughs> 